Yeah, it's just a quick demo of the ESU feedback detectors and how they work when they go through the ECOS and then the information gets passed on to the computer software for the automation but it's handy to have it on the visual panel logged on obviously so if, you, if I go into a yard you can see I've got two trains in there that shows up that they're occupied and you can actually add feedback uh, railcom boxes on there to tell you what locos parked up if the decoder supports that so we'll go to the main layout and go to the main track plan I'm going to bring uh, a loco out and run it through a, a circuit so you can see where it's flashing up red it's tracking a loco that's one particular feedback I'm not sure which number it is but you can track the loco going around your layout And that's how the automation susses out where the trains are. Which is quite handy, even if you don't use automation, this system is quite handy. If you've got hidden fiddle yards etc where you can't see. So I've not got nothing around this area, but when it enters through the tunnel, I've not got anything in there yet either. But when it comes through <clears throat> and to the outer main line, this train, this area should light up here. And then the next sector going across the top. yeah it's quite quite useful for tracking trains so we're going to the station you can see the feedback box if I, if I drive a train into there it should say uh, the address and what name the name of the loco in that box that's another feature of the uh, ESU feedbacks uh, modules can have four of these boxes on each module so on the main lines or in hidden sidings would be good so I'll just bring a train into this box here now yeah, so I'm going to drive a loco into that particular siding I'll come up with its ID. Which is that one. <laughs> 